I have uh, Tim Warner, it's InfoSec 2009. Uh, Tim, please introduce yourself to our listeners. Um, I'm, I, I manage, basically manage the Northern Europe for FinGen. I've been with the company for seven years and um, obviously you've seen quite a lot of the stuff in terms of security around the area. And today, Tim is going to talk to us about search engine optimization as used by the hackers. That's right. Okay, so obviously a lot of the users will understand um, that when you use a search engine like Google or Ask in the UK or, or, or something like this, you're getting back the top results. And, the, and the, the thing behind this is something called search engine optimization, where it's basically looking at the results coming back from pages and putting out the top results for those. What we've actually found about four weeks ago was um, a criminal element that had copied that um, technique into a criminal technique. So what they were doing, they were feeding on human error. So maybe you'd put Google into a search engine, but instead of spelling it right, you'd spell it G-O-G-L-E, or many other different misspelled words. And when you did that, they were trying to get the pages that they'd infected ranked by the search engines as top results for the word goggle, or license misspelled with an S or something. Um, and it was very, very um, uh, effective as a technique that they did this. They actually were embedding scripts on the, on the pages. The scripts themselves weren't just static, they were actually dynamically creating more misspelt words so that those, those sites would get uh, ranked even higher. And what the, the criminals were doing from there is actually causing a redirection, which was obfuscated, which is like an encryption method, to go all the way through several hops until it turned out to a page. And that page was um, actually um, then offering a free um, antivirus scan of your computer. Um, so it was, it was trying to sell something we call scareware. And the way that to do that, that, you would maybe click yes and, and, and it will scan the computer. It's doing lots of I.O. disk access, but actually not doing anything. At the end of that, it would come up with 30 or 40 different things you're infected about, which would be, be set to scare the, the living daylights out of someone that's doing this. And well, we actually got hold of one of the traffic management, fa fancy traffic management servers behind this attack, um, which we passed on to the authorities. And we actually saw that it, they managed to successfully redirect 1.8 million people within 16 consecutive days. All right? Of those 1.8 million people, 1.79% of them actually not only ran this scan, but they then paid for this bogus software, which was priced at $50. So basically, the criminals got 1.6 million dollars within 16 consecutive days and what they were doing from that was then sharing out with the affiliates and other people the the, the average cost was 9.2 cents per redirection but the actual criminal at the back end of it was making ten thousand eight hundred dollars a day for 16 work days so basically um it shows you that e-crime can pay the thing i would say to your listeners though um is actually that it's, it's even scarier than that because what they were doing there was trying to to um, sell a bogus piece of security software to do nothing. But what you're dealing with is a technique, a propagation technique, not a payload. It could just have easily been a virus at the end of that, or a keylogger logging everything, or a worm, or anything like that. Can you imagine what would have happened if 1.8 million machines downloaded a keylogger or downloaded a worm, and then it started off from 1.8 million start points, compared with the historical worms we saw, which were only one or two? So let me just recap. Um, if I type a site name, Microsoft or Google, but I just make one spelling mistake, which we all uh, do in our times. It goes to a, another site. Yep, it, it picks that up. Uh, the, which, Google, the, the search engine then says, well, the, the, the top result for that misspelt word is not Google, but some other site, which this, this software has made it, uh, made it rank itself, the, the page as. It would then direct them to that page, which in turn would redirect through other, several other hops, all obfuscated. So, so, that, so the first bit is, I've gone to this bogus web page, which then redirects me to a, a, a proper phishing or whatever. It's not a phishing site. Well, or, it could or, have been. Could have been. It could have but, been. But, or or a, a website that tell, tells me I need some special yeah. software, whatever. So in order to get the ranking higher up, they, they, I go to the, the, the whatever I've misspelled and then get redirected to the, the site they want highly ranked. The actual code they've embedded on, the, the, on that page is actually self-generating more misspent, misspelled words as well. So the further out they get, the more these sites are getting up, and they're all pushing through to the, this back-end site, which is then promising this free scan of your computer for antivirus, for, for, for virus. You're then finding these things. And that's, and that's pushing the ranking up. 
Yes. Because it's like lots of hits, but they're yeah. all coming from all these misspelled... All um, these misspelled words yes. are creating those hits, and lots okay. of sites are doing that. So the best, the, the top result for the word goggle or a misspelled word yeah. like Microsoft would then appear to be some other site which would redirect you through to this page which was trying to sell you antivirus software. And 1.79% of the people that actually got redirected there actually clicked and ran the scan. Not only did they ran it, they then bought the software, which right. did nothing. And for CISOs, because their users aren't going to go and buy software. Yeah, they'll just say, oh, uh, my system's been infected, and the security manager will say that's a bogus site. But the real threat is it didn't need to be selling software. It didn't need to be. It that was just been, the payload. That, the that pay security scan could have been a download of yeah, malware they could or have, a key Exactly. Log. It could have sent them to that page, and instead of seeing, seeing something on the page, which was um, uh, talking about antivirus scans and things like this. It could have silently done a drive-by attack and got a keylogger onto their, their, their machine. And at that point, we've seen from the botnets and, and other things, they're controlling the machine. They can choose to do anything they want to do with that machine. They could be logging everything out, which is a problem with um, fuel CISOs, things like DPA for PCI, SOX, HIPAA, whatever they're regulated by. Or it can be used as a se subsequent attack point so they can say, okay, now I've got this footprint inside the organization. Let me log all the passwords and all the logins that they're doing and see where else they're going to and what else they can see. And then I can send another piece of software down which is targeted for them, pretending to be the, the, the user, to access those databases, pull that information out, and send it all out. Yeah. Tim, thank you very much for coming and sharing this information with us. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Ben Chai. I'm the editor for securityvibes.com. If you've enjoyed this video or have any other comments to make, please do fill in the comment boxes and let us know what you think. Thank you.